Well, hello there, health coaches. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a great topic to discuss all about how to create an email course, which is something you may not have thought about before, but if you've been getting kind of all jumbled up thinking about different ways to promote yourself, promote your business. And it all seems too overwhelming, like running a webinar or a five-day challenge or any of these other crazy things that we do. Today, we're going to give you something easier that you can implement in like 48 hours. So this is like the, the easy button episode. Just go ahead and hit the easy button now if you're here with us live and say hello and tell, me, tell us if you have any questions as we go along. I am here with Angel from ConvertKit. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, of course. Happy to be here. Now, the reason I asked Angel to be here is because ConvertKit, if you don't know, is one of those email services that you can use for your business. But I started using them when I was getting like a little more advanced in my email marketing. I wasn't just sending like, you know, one email newsletter, my whole list every month. I started to get a little bit smarter and I was like, whoa, like I could do so much more, but it's still an easier, in my opinion, it's way easier to use than some of the other services out there. And um, one thing that they really excel at is helping you speak to specific groups of people within your list and in, in a specific way. Can you just give us like an overview of what makes what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, just as Michelle was saying, you guys, it is a very friendly user interface. It really allows you to have easy access into your email marketing strategies. And as Michelle was saying, we do have a very easy setup for you to be able to speak and target to particular groups within your audiences. So for example, let's say I have a wellness blog and I focus on meditation and fitness. I am able to clarify which groups within my subscribers are more interested depending on the different niches and the different things that I have within my blog. I can do that all within ConvertKit, make sure that I'm speaking with them really directly in order to grow more personable relationships and therefore just fully understand how to serve your audience better based off of what they're actually interested in. So a lot of cool things that ConvertKit can do, super easy to use, and I'm definitely just here to help you guys through it for sure. Good. So you'll help us through some of the more like technical aspects. Um, but let's talk about an email course because I really like this idea. There's so many health coaches who are like, yo, I am not a technology genius, nor do I <laughs> want to be. I don't right. want to be on, I don't want to be on camera, Michelle. I don't want to have to worry about a microphone and all this nonsense. So, you know, we are all comfortable with email though, because we use it every day in our personal lives. This is right. just like turning up the dial one notch to turn it into a marketing effort. So um, I know that there must be so many people running email courses through ConvertKit all the time and you see them. Can you just tell us like what they generally would look like? Yeah, yeah, of course. So before we dive deep into, into that example, um, for those of you that may not know, an email course is basically a series of emails that speak on a specific topic and they get sent over to your audience over a specific period of time. Um, so for example, some of um, uh, the creators within ConvertKit, what their email courses would look like would be, uh, I've seen five days to being a better blogger, right? And basically within those five days, on day one, it would be how to make sure you have the right host for your blog. Day two, how to design your blog. Day three, how to make money with your blog. So basically every day you are sending them one email with educational content, teaching them something new. You're bringing them some type of result. You're helping them learn something, get more knowledgeable in some way. Um, so I've seen a lot of our creators use it for blogging purposes. I've seen um, people use it for meditation exercises, meditation exercise one on Monday, meditation exercise two on a Tuesday and so on and so forth. I mean, there's really no limit to how long your email course should be. I would definitely keep in mind of your audience's time and their attention span, of course. So I'm, I've really seen a lot of our creators create that email course probably within five to seven days. I have seen yeah. two weeks at most. Uh, but yeah, just a great way for you to connect with your audience without having to deal with the hassle of creating a webinar or, or a downloadable PDF. It just allows you to connect with them, provide them with educational content, and really just grow that personable relationship because you took the time to do that. So it would be the same kind of setup, you guys, as anything else that you offer for free in order to grow your mailing list. You'd have a page where people enter an email address, and then they would be effectively enrolled in your email program. 
um, or your email course. And again, yes. a convert kit would provide, you know, you would have a page through convert kit. So if you don't have a website, that's okay. You don't, you don't need a website for any of this. One. No. Um, and you know, then instead of them getting that downloadable PDF that you had to like write and design and perfect and, um, and deliver to them, they would instead be enrolled in this course that starts to drip out automatically. And I mean, it, it strikes me that you can do this as a one-time event like we're going to have this course and it starts on December 1st, but you could also do it as an evergreen offering. So no matter when you could, you know, all year long, you could be promoting this, getting people to join your email list and it would just start whenever they started. Exactly. Exactly. So whatever landing page or form that you have, let's say subscriber one signs up on that landing page on December 5th, right? They would automatically get the series of emails, hence your overall email course. And then you have another subscriber that signs up for that same landing page on December 31st, they would get that exact same email course. So it really is just dependent on your subscribers time. When they sign up, they would automatically get that email course and they would just be followed along within the drips within those uh, individual emails, teaching them that education educational, amazing content that I know you all are capable of creating. So for us, you know, this is going to be a very generic example, you guys, like for health coaching, but like, let's say it was like five days to wellness. Do not do this. This is not targeted to any market, <laughs> but let's just say you did, you know, it could be like day one, we're going to talk about dark leafy greens and day two, we're going to talk about whole grains. Don't do this. It's boring. But just to give you an idea that you could take a topic and you could break it down into five pieces and you don't have to do any graphics. You don't have to worry about like color or exactly. like logos or photography or anything that would normally go into a PDF. Now, if you do already have a PDF for those of you that already have some sort of downloadable freebie on your website or you know, available to, uh, to grow your list. You could even take that exact thing, but change it into like a five day experience. So the same concept of the piece, like for example, what I have on my website is a stress assessment quiz that has a bunch of questions like, do you have these symptoms? How bad is your stress? Are you teetering on burnout? Are you already burnt out? And just off the top of my head, I could turn that into a five day um, experience by maybe on day one, we just talk about like the first three symptoms. And then on day two, we talk about a few of the other symptoms and I give a little insight about each of them. But by the end, maybe at the very end, we tally it all up. So it's the same exact concept, but it's delivered in a different way. Because as you know, people download a PDF, how many really open it? Not that right. many, but with a course like this, you get like, let's say you did five days, you have five chances for somebody to pay attention. Which is pretty good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And at ConvertKit, we always recommend to use pre-existing content when it comes to creating an email course. You can, of course, start completely from scratch and start fresh, especially if you are maybe just getting into the into your business. You're still in those beginning stages. Of course, you can start fresh with that email course. Really easy content for you to do and deliver to your audience. However, if you already have all of this great content, great products, great services that you have, you can just take that little bits and pieces of that and place it within an email course. And I've seen a lot of creators with ConvertKit pitch that in a way where they take pieces of their products and services, they turn it into an email course so that they can deliver free educational content to their audience in order to build trust and credibility. And then by the end of that email course, they have a link to where they can actually buy their product or service, where they can get more. So it's really a great streamlined way to build that trust, let them know, hey, this is what I do. This is how, uh, this is what you can learn from me. Here's where you can get more to continue along your journey with me. Now, a few episodes back, and now I can't remember which episode it was, you guys, so you'll have to go look in the archive, but we did a whole episode on a, how to run a five-day challenge. And to be mm. honest, this isn't that much different, or you could even see this as a way to run a five-day challenge. It's just way easier. It's like a, the most simplified version of a five-day challenge you could possibly run because with a five-day challenge, oftentimes we also have a Facebook group and we also have, you know, live video components and downloads and all sorts of other stuff that goes with it. But at the heart of it, a five-day challenge is really just five emails that go out one day, at, you know, apart. And, and that's what we're 
suggesting that you try just by itself, especially if you're new to the, all of this, you're new to marketing. It's less to screw up if you have less moving parts, trust me. Absolutely. <laughs> so if we were to put this together, you know, let's say we started with a word document and we type up our emails, keep them short, you guys, nobody wants to read a book. And then <laughs> You could do this with, honestly, you could do this with any email service, by the way. And, and it, like I said, it could be in real time. It could be like we start December 1st. And on December 1st, you're going to log into whatever email service you have. And you're just going to hit send on an email that's ready to go or have them scheduled. But tell us like how you would suggest we do it if we were using ConvertKit and the special tools available to us there. Yeah, yeah, of course, definitely. Um, so when it comes to creating a high converting email course, as Michelle said, you definitely want to have all of your assets together first. So I would highly recommend just asking yourself certain questions such as how will my email course benefit my readers? How will this email course benefit my actual business? What lessons is it going to be on? How am I going to break it up? Really just asking those certain questions or even questions such as, what is my audience's attention span so that you know how long this email should be? And as Michelle said, you do not want it to be a book. An email course is supposed to be very convenient for your audience where they're getting that educational content, but it's convenient because it only takes a few minutes for them to read and digest while at the same time bringing them the value that they are looking for. So you definitely want to stay within that realm of respecting your audience's time uh, span or attention span and just their likelihood of following along with those emails and following along with what it is that you are bringing their way. You also wanna make sure you are prepping for your subject lines, making sure your subject lines are catchy so that you want people to open them up. So for example, the first email that you would send out on day one, it wouldn't just say lesson number one, right? You would be more specific. You would let them know, hey, this is what's in lesson number one, open this up, letting them know uh, what to expect. It's super important to have those catchy subject headlines. Um, and then of course, making sure you, ha you have your call to action ready too. So what is the purpose of this email course? By the end of it, what are you wanting your audience to do? Are you wanting them to buy a product or service? Are you wanting them to read maybe another blog post that you just put out so that they could be kept up to date with your recent content? Anything like that, making sure you have a clear visual of that as well. Now ConvertKit, as Michelle was saying, has a very easy, friendly user interface for you to be able to create this email course. And when you're creating your series of emails, you don't have to pop in and out of different windows. It's literally all right there for you. You can switch them around. Maybe if you put day one and day two and day three, all of course, right underneath each other, but maybe you wanna swap out what you put for day three and put it in day two. Super easy for you to do that, not complicated whatsoever. And then as Michelle was saying, you can automatically set that up in your ConvertKit account so that it is attached to your landing page or form, meaning every time a subscriber signs up for that landing page, they will automatically get that series of emails that you have already set up. So yeah. ConvertKit is super easy just when it comes to your automations, when it comes to creating that email sequence, which in other terms is email series, which of course is your email course. And then of course, just being able to allow you to track within those emails as well. So you can use tags and link triggers in your email courses. Any links that you put in there, you are able to clarify, okay, what subscribers clicked on this or how many clicks is this actually getting so that you can keep up with what is actually doing well. So, so great just when it comes to your business, your content, so that you know how to overall serve your audience better. That's terrific. I'm just thinking back to something I did like this a few years ago. It was like, but, uh, five days to stress less. That wasn't the name of it, but that was the concept. Mm. Five days to stress less. And each day I shared a particular, like a breathing technique or, you know, something to do with, you know, how everyone was living their day to help them stress less. Now, why did I do this topic? You guys, I did this topic because I work with women who are chronically stressed. This is my target market. You see, so you want to pick something that is basically like, hi, I'm going to help you solve your problem. I'm going to help you solve your problem. And instead of trying to sell it as like, God, please don't do this. Don't say <laughs> sign up for my email course. I mean, we are calling it that because 
you know, that's what it is. Right. But don't try to market it that way. Nobody wants an email course. That sounds terrible. But you might say something like, sign up for five days to stress less. So, you know, I'm going to teach you how to stress less in five days. Sign up here. Like, that's the kind of language that's going to get people to enter their email address for you. I was just thinking like, oh my God. <laughs> no, exactly. It's so important to use your own voice, you guys, and just be unique, be specific so that they know what to expect. If you say sign up for my email course, somebody looking at that is going to be like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. But if you're more, sp more specific to your actual brand, to what it is you teach, to what it is that you can provide them with and the results you can bring their way, their eyes are going to be attracted to them actually seeing the five days to, um, to uh, re releasing stress or five, five day meditation course or something like that so that it can be more specific. Now, another thing in your wording, when it comes to your email course, you don't want to be salesy. Do and you not want to be salesy? All. Uh uh. Good at point. All. Yes, that is actually a mistake that I've seen among some of our very own creators is that they're too salesy. It's too much on their pitch and what they want. And their audience and, oh, well, I want their money. You definitely do not want to be anything like that. You really want to take it from that selfless aspect where you're just giving them value. You're helping them out. You are creating that relationship because that is what leads to trust, which then leads to those future customers, which we all definitely want. Yeah, that's a really good point. So you mentioned this earlier about maybe you want to link to your blog post, you want to link to something. I could totally see that. Like if you have a blog or if you have a podcast or anything like that, you have great content that relates to the topic that day, I could totally see like, you know, here's today's email and oh, hey, if you want more on this, like click here and yes. that takes them to like a specific blog post. That's a really lovely way of measuring engagement because otherwise you'll know who opened the email exactly. and that's good. But then you, you'll see who clicked the link, which means they are definitely interested. They're asking, they read it and they're clicking, they want to learn more. And I would not be surprised if you sent out five different topics with five different calls to action, that one of them is going to really pop out is like, oh, this is the one people want. I exactly. mean, that's like years and years ago, before there were 500,000 detox programs on the market, I, I thought I was very original and very unique. And I, and I was, come on, because it was a long time ago. And I, I started talking to my audience about detoxing and like, I, well, I would track the clicks. Like, oh my God, like everybody clicked on this. People who I had no idea were interested were all clicking when I started talking about detoxing. So then guess what I offered six months later? You guessed it. <laughs> so, you know, you could think about each of these emails having like a mini call to action, something that keeps them in your world in some way. And then at the end, like Angel was saying, like, that's a great time to offer them your free consultation or whatever it is that you're selling, because by then they're warmed up. You know, they have had like five days with you. If your emails come out on time and you're telling them something of value, Maybe you even make them laugh, you know, which is another kind of value. Of course. And you're consistent. You know, you say it's going to come every day at 10 o'clock in the morning and it comes every day at 10 o'clock in the morning. Like that builds trust. Absolutely. Absolutely. It really, really does. And, and that really matters when it comes to them understanding those expectations, right? And that is what the beauty of automation has to do with that. Because if you're able to set up your automated emails within your email course to be sent out on a specific day, you, you're golden. You're good to go. It's automatically going to send for you. Your audiences are already knowing what to expect. And just overall on an email course and understanding the links that people are clicking on and who's clicking on them and how many times did, did this link get what clicks, this is a great way to test out new content. So not only are email courses super easy to create and uh, you can get really creative, friendly, you can get funny with them, you can be personable, it builds trust, credibility, helps you make money online. I mean, so many great benefits. But another great one is just the fact that it can help you test new content. So as Michelle was saying, it's perfect for understanding, okay, well, this link got the most clicks or these people saw this, opened up this email the most. So therefore next month, I'm going to do a product launch on that exact thing. And that helps you to better know and understand what your audience is actually interested in more than anything. Super important. 
Yeah, I love those tips. Thank you for sharing that. And I kind of, if anyone is watching live and you have an idea or you want to throw your target market out there for us, it would be kind of fun to just bat some ideas around. Oh, yeah. So, like one off the top of my head, because I know a lot of health coaches these days are focusing on autoimmune disease, a woman who have mm. autoimmune autoimmune. And um, so one idea that I was just thinking of was like, okay, uh, for those of you who are maybe leading your clients through some sort of elimination diet, mm. it would be interesting and it would be educational. You're not saying like each day you have to eliminate these foods that might be a little rough <laughs> and might need more guidance, Right. but you could say, Hey, day one, like, let's talk about gluten. Here's what it actually is. Here's where you'll actually find it. And here's why it's often eliminated when it comes to autoimmune disease. In exactly. Like, you know, like three short paragraphs, I think you could get the gist of that down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's another benefit of uh, linking to where they can get more. You're keeping yeah. the email short, sweet, simple to the point. They read it within a few minutes, they're gaining value. And then if you have more to say, or if you have more on that topic within your blog or within your content, you could just link to it so that they can automatically be redirected to that. Yes, exactly. And it would also be an opportunity to invite engagement. So for example, and it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be like, oh, they're going to go to your blog and leave a comment or they're going to go to your Facebook page because maybe you don't have those things and that's okay. Right. But one thing I love to do in my emails, even now, although it gets, it gets a little insane now because that's a lot of people, but I will invite readers to just hit reply. So if you have a question and it's like an interesting question, don't ask a boring question, but <laughs> like, you know, maybe with this group of people, you could say something like, are you gluten-free and have you ever you know, accidentally been glutened, like what happened? Mm -hmm. Hit reply and tell, you know, tell me your story. Um, you know, people are gonna hit reply and talk to you, which is really what you want, right? Because we want, ultimately want people to pay us to talk to them as their yeah. coach. So to like initiate some conversation would be really interesting. And what I've even done is then like the next day included an excerpt from somebody's email and said like, oh, this is what, you know, with permission, like, hey, this is what Sally from Idaho had to say yesterday about gluten, blah, 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 blah. And it, it shows that there's community, it shows the engagement and it encourages more of that. So that could be another call to action, even if you don't necessarily have more content to share. Absolutely. Because in that, in that point, you are simply just researching your audience. And I never, I, I always tell people, whether you're at the beginning stages of your business or the later stages in your business, whether you're making $100 a month or $10,000 a month, researching your audience is so important. Simply just asking them, asking them what it is that they're needing, what are they wanting, what are their issues, what are their pain points, asking them those questions so that you can better target them, especially in an email course, can really, really lead to so much more success in your business because you're taking the time to constantly learn about them. What are their problems? What are their issues? And how exactly can you help? Yes. And in just a minute, we're going to tell you guys about a free trial that you can do with ConvertKit. But first, I want to see if we have any questions. I have one for Mar or questions or ideas to brainstorm. Yes. There's one here for Marianne. Hey, Marianne. And she says, which of these do you like better? Okay. Option number oh, one. Fun. Yeah, fun. We like this. <laughs> option number one is seven days to avoid the holiday drain on your energy. Mm -hmm. Option number two, seven days to support your energy during the holidays. Oh, okay. Say option one again. Option one, seven days to avoid the holiday drain on your energy. Option two, seven days to support your energy during the holidays. Hmm. I think I like one only because I feel like a lot of people are going to be more catered to that when it comes to feeling like their energy is drained. Like when you think about drained energy, that's a common term. And a lot of people feel that especially around the holidays, maybe. So I know for me personally, my eyes would be attracted to that. I would highly recommend one tip if you can shorten that just a little bit, trying to keep it short, sweet, sweet simple to the point. Um, I think that would be great. However, I love the term draining and energy. I feel like those two really fit together. Draining is a good term. See, there's no right answer here is the tricky part, right? Exactly. There's no right answer. I was... I was going to say the second because it sounded more like a positive spin on it instead of mm -hmm. a negative spin, right? Yeah, of avoiding I totally understand drain, that point too. Supporting your energy. Uh, there's also an opportunity for like a subhead. So it could be like seven days to support your energy during the holidays, dot, 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 in smaller text, you know, and avoid the 
and avoid the drain. drain it, yeah. yeah, and avoid the drain. I love that. I love Something that. along those lines. Um, one thing though, Marianne, that I might do if I were you is to be a little more specific about who you're targeting because I mean, as a woman and a mother, I can feel like that's probably for me, mm. but <laughs> it could be for anyone really. You know, the holidays are draining for everybody in different ways. So you might want to be a little more specific about who, who this yeah. is the right course for. Who you is could this do that for? in the title, you could do it in the subhead or maybe in like a, a sentence or two description before they sign up. But mm -hmm. I would try to get it right into that title if you could. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's really important again, just to set those expectations. So when you put out an email course or any content or any product or service, it's important to be able to clarify who is this for and who is it not and for. And who is it not for? That's Knowing right. both, exactly. Because it's not going to be for everybody and that's totally okay. This just allows you to better specify, okay, who is this actually for? Who is actually going to open these emails? Who's actually going to be interested and engaged? Engagement is key in these email courses, definitely 100%. Let's do one more. Patty has this idea. Seven days to manage your menopausal weight gain. Mm. Menopausal, so we know. Right, we know right. Who it is. I'm know not going to sign for. up for that one. Maybe in a few years, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some time on that. <laughs> right, right. And no man's going to go for that either. No so man's going for that. Yeah. So we nail that. You really nail in your target by by that. putting it that way. Great job. We like that. And you might want to use the word reverse instead of manage. Cause I, if I was that woman, I don't know that I want to manage my menopausal weight gain, but I probably want to reverse it. Yeah. Reverse or decrease something that's again, that positive spin, right? Because of course, when, when women hear the word menopausal, <laughs> right. It's not their favorite. Not, right. It's not their favorite. So if you're thinking, okay, decrease, decreasing this weight gain, that's going to help them. And that's going to help them when they look at that title and they're going to say, oh yes, I want that. Or, oh yes, this is interesting. I need this. People love that stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's what she wants. It's what she exactly. wants. And you don't have to worry about delivering like weight loss in seven days. What you're delivering are the ideas and the concepts that will create weight loss. And you're, you're delivering that information in seven days. You're not absolutely. saying like you are going to lose this weight in seven days. Cause that would really be disingenuous. So yes, absolutely love how specific she was. That was great. Yeah, it's great. And she said, that's perfect. And Marianne said, thank you for your help. You're welcome. You guys, thank you for being here with us. And we want to offer you a 30 day free trial to convert kit. This is how I started because changing email services can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. So it's nice to have like a 30 day overlap period where you can try it out before you commit. And, um, and, and anyway, I want you guys to totally take advantage of this. So if you go to convertkit.com slash power live, you will be able to access a couple things. Tell them what they get, Angel. Yes, 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 yes. So because you guys are so great and so special, uh, when you go to convertkit.com slash power live, you are automatically going to sign up for a 30 full free days of ConvertKit, completely free month from us to you. Um, again, just to play around with ConvertKit, see how you like it, see what it's like, see how easy it is to create an email course for your business. And then um, just get a feel for creating those landing pages and setting up an automation within there too. Now, a great thing about this is that there is no credit card required. This just allows you to have some leeway here, as Michelle was saying, especially if you already have an email service provider. This just gives you that leeway to test it out for yourself. And then towards the end of your free month of ConvertKit, if you want to migrate over, all you have to do is go to convertkit.com slash migrations, and we can definitely help you out with that process too. make it as easy and as streamlined as we possibly can. Now, also, when you go to that link, there is going to be a demo video for you to watch that allows you to see exactly how to set up an email course within ConvertKit. So if you're listening in on this, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, this is great information, but I'm more of a visual learner, this is definitely for you just to be able to get a feel and a sense for a step-by-step -step way of setting up your email course in ConvertKit. That'll be right there for you. And then we also are going to be providing you a link to an email course article that allows you to read through a step-by-step -step process of creating that email course under 48 hours. Now this link, if you're listening and watching now, it will automatically pop up in your account for you. However, if you're watching this uh, later on, maybe tomorrow, a month down the line, whenever you're listening and watching this, just go ahead and write in to help 
www.convertkit.com. And we will definitely send that link over to you, get you all squared away so that we can set you up for success with creating that incredible email course of yours. Oh, good. So that's help at support. I mean, no, I'm sorry, support at convertkit.com. <laughs> Close. Help dot convertkit.com and we'll get you all taken care of okay you heard it here guys there you go so that's a lot of good stuff i know that you guys like tutorials and so that's why they've put together this tutorial to like walk you through the process like click here mm -hmm. and then click here and then put this here you know and it'll be very easy for you to take your whatever word document and get it into an automated email course so that you can start marketing it ASAP. ASAP. And then another great thing too, you guys, whenever you're you're in your account trying out your 30 day uh, free trial of ConvertKit, we have a great customer service team. So any questions you have, or if you are confused about anything or you want help or resources, there's just a little message icon in your ConvertKit account. Just go ahead and click on that and start a conversation with our support team and they will be right with you, helping you out as much as possible. Yeah, they're phenomenal. Everybody who uses ConvertKit always will comment. They'll come back to me and say, what, well, you know, Michelle, you're right. The support is amazing. So take advantage of that, you guys, and take advantage of this free offer. Um, and I would like to hear what you've put together. So Patty, when you get your seven days to reversing menopausal weight gain, like, I want to see that. I want to yes. see the pages. I want to see what you're offering um, as we come out of this uh, you know, today's lesson so that I, I know that we're, we're having an impact. And I know we are, because you guys always take action. And that's why I love you so very much. <laughs> Everyone in this, in this community is like action oriented. So I that's know you're going to be hearing from a lot of them. That's amazing. That just means I know you all are going to be successful. And we're definitely happy to hear from you. So any questions you have, seriously, we got your back. We will help you out. And again, just take full advantage of the free month. No credit card required. Dive in, see how you like it for yourself and uh, watch that demo video to help you out as well. Awesome. Thanks for being here today, Angela. And thanks for watching everybody. Yes, of course. Thank you. Bye. See you next week, everyone.